Wow. What's up, my name is Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want us to talk about Tesla. Um, last week, Tesla actually had their earnings report, their Q2 uh, 2020 earnings re report. And um, man, it was some, some great things in there. And two things stood out to me. I mean, everybody was focusing on, you know, their financials and, you know, some profit and stuff like that. But two things actually got me thinking. As a matter of fact, got me rethinking uh, Tesla. And a lot of people are overlooking these two things and I, I don't see a lot of people talking about it. And so that's why I wanna do a video and actually share what I'm thinking with you guys. Um, and again, before we get started guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So Tesla guys, man, um, Elon Musk, uh, this dude is, uh, we know who he is. He's a genius, like that's uh, a given. But um, again, for us investors, people are excited. Tesla has just gone up and hit about 1700, pulled back a little bit, somewhere between 14 and 1700 now. Um, and, and I think it's just, to me, that's just a consolidation. From that point, it's $2,000 is gonna hit next, and then from there, we don't know where that's gonna go. But here are the two things that actually stood out to me um, in the earnings call. Um, most people know Tesla for what? Their cars, right? You're talking about the Model S, uh, the Model 3, the Model X, the Model Y. Um, I mean, you're talking about building uh, semi trucks and also uh, building pickup trucks. Those are still in the making. You're looking at 2021 for that to happen. But two parts of Tesla business that people are not talking a lot about and I think need a lot of attention. The first one is the solar roof. So we know that a lot of people have like solar panels on top of their roof today and it's making, you know, or giving them some extra energy, cutting the energy bill by half or whatever that is, uh, which is good. Um, Tesla is in that business and they're just getting started. So they're hiring people that do the installation and all that stuff and they are building their own um, solar panels. And so here's what they have done. So you go from uh, putting shingles on your house and then put solar panels on top, Tesla is converting your shingles into solar panels. So once you build your house and it gets time to do the roofing and put shingles, the shingles that they're gonna put are gonna do two things. They're gonna act as shingles again, and then they're gonna act as solar panels to generate energy to power your house. That is brilliant. Why didn't I think of that? I know why, I'm not Elon Musk. But you guys see what I mean here? This is this is just getting started. The minute people start to pick up on this, where uh, when you do your construction, you're thinking about putting shingles, you have the option of doing solar panels, a lot of people are gonna gravitate towards that because um, the idea here is that there's gonna be incentives for you to wanna do that because, hey, why would you shoot two birds with one stone? You have shingles on your roof, and then it's generating power for you. This is just brilliant. And this is a part of their business, again, that to me is just getting started. So the second part that I wanna talk about, again, their business is still in the energy space. It's their mega packs. And so for those of you that have no idea, the mega packs is like um, energy storage devices. So if you think about it, um, all these uh, uh, power grids, they have places where they store energy, right? They store the power. If you go to like uh, a, sol a solar farm or these windmills, um, once they generate that power, it has to go somewhere that gets stored. So Tesla is building these mega packs that are now getting um, to store energy in less amount of space compared to the traditional storage um, uh, method. So you can take the, the mega pack, it would be about this big, it will store the same amount of energy that the traditional um, uh, large um, uh, uh, storage devices currently use. So, and this is the first time that that particular business has shown any profitability. Q2 of 2020, they've gotten a little bit of profitability, which tells me that it's just ramping up. So I'm super excited about this. And the minute these two pieces of their business pick up, this stock is gonna jump like crazy. So I am so bullish on Tesla right now, um, even at 14 or 1500 right now, I am gonna buy more because I see, I see 2000, I see 3000, I see 4000 in 
four or five years, this thing is gonna be crazy. And guess what? Here is the one thing that a lot of people too are not even talking about. And this is the third one, which I didn't even have to talk about. Is I just remember reading it in the earnings report. They are building their own software that they want to use to allow people to be able to monetize into the grid. So if you have your solar panels, you have all this other stuff, you can start monetizing your own energy at, at your own pace. Which is, which I mean, guys, I'm super excited about this. You, I, you just don't know. Um, so uh, personally, um, what I after that earnings report, I'm looking at it's like Tesla is going to explode. Mark my word, this thing is going to explode. And now they have um, on top of that, they are building a factory in Germany. Um, I think for their Model Y. Um, and in, in, in China, they're building another factory, another Giga factory in China for their Model Y. So the Model Y is going to be in China and in Germany. Uh, and then the rest of the other models are like the Model S, which is, you know, one of their best is here in the United States. Uh, man, um, Tesla is up to some good things. And again, I, I'm not even looking at just the financials that everybody said they were good reporting. I'm just telling you the potential here. Um, remember, I did a video here on the channel. Where I said, when you look at a company that you want to invest in, the three things that you want to look at a company to invest in, one of them was solving a problem. What is that company solving? So Tesla is really doing things. They've taken the problem of storing energy. They've solved that problem. They've built these mega packs that can store energy, the same amount of energy in a very confined space, which is excellent. And then the other one is that they are solving the problem of you having to put a roof over your, a shingle on your, your roof at the same time, bring your solar panels, put it on top. So they're merging shingles and solar panels into one that you can put on your roof and actually have your roof and be able to generate energy to power your house. That's the best way you can solve a problem. I mean, I, I can't explain it any better. So, um, so question is, hey, should you buy, should you hold, or should you sell Tesla? Um, in this case, um, I'm not Jim Cramer, but I wish I had that button. I'll be like, buy, 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 because that's what I'm doing. I don't know about you, but uh, do again your analysis. Again, I'm gonna put the links to the Q2 earnings report. Um, you can definitely go check them out and read for yourself and look at the financials and see what's in there for you. So um, question of the day, guys, what do you think about these two uh, pieces of Tesla business that I just mentioned? Do you think, oh, Mr. V, you're overhyping it, or you think, man, this is something that I didn't even think about. All I thought about Tesla was their cars and everything, but now that you've mentioned it, I am gonna go look into it. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Yeah. Um, again, I use Weibo for investing, so if you are new and you're looking for a platform to invest, I definitely recommend you try Weibo. Uh, I'm gonna put the link in the description below. Uh, right now, if you sign up, you get two free stacks, not one, two. First one is between two and $250, and the second one is between 12 and fourteen hundred dollars so um when you sign up i'm gonna fill it with weibo so you sign up you get a free stock i get a free stock that's how i keep the channel running and as always guys stay motivated